Hey guys, how's it going? Tom here from Intelligence and I'm here with a quick and easy tutorial for you guys because I know that shorter is better when it comes to these kinds of things. So anyways, let's get straight down to it. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a really simple but convincing 3D text effect in just After Effects. No plugins, no 3ds Max, no other applications. So here's what we're going to be making and it's only going to take like two minutes. So pretty awesome, you know, a nice uh, 3D kind of looking deal. Anyways, let's get into it. So make a new composition. I'm going to be doing 720p, 30 frames a second, pretty standard. Make it 100 frames long. So we're going to start off by creating a new text layer and it can say whatever you want really. So let's do uh, cool text. Smiley face. Okay. <laughs> So go ahead and center it and we're just going to duplicate the layer and you can do that by hitting Apple D on the Mac or Control D on the PC. Go to the bottom layer and increase the line outline and you can set this to whatever color you want. Um, I'm just going to go with like an orange. Go ahead and duplicate it one more time. Go to the bottom layer and increase it once again. And this effect was done on my latest video called uh, Epic Pong, and you can check that out in the description or on the annotation. That's on my main channel, you've probably seen it. Anyways, so let's continue, and I'm just doing four here. Go ahead and set this one to a different color. And that's looking good, okay. So, now that we've got all these layers, and it looks kind of neat, we're going to go Layer, New... Uh, camera and normally you want to match the focal length of the After Effects camera to whatever you shot your scene with and I'm just gonna go with 50 millimeters here and now if you wanted to go ahead and go around your scene in 3d space you have to make all of these uh, 3d layers and if you don't see these then you have to hit the toggle switches button but go ahead and click it on all of these and you come in and that doesn't look very cool you know don't get me wrong that's like pretty awesome for some people but we're pretty ahead of the curve here so we're gonna take it one step further so go ahead and grab all of these and hit P to open up the position and we're gonna drop all of these back about 20 or 15 units so 20 40 60 now if we go in for our camera you can kinda of see it has a little bit more depth to it and I think this is the closest you can get to actual 3D in After Effects, but let me know if I'm wrong. Anyways, we can go ahead and keyframe our camera movement. So if you hit P and Shift A, it opens up the point of interest and position, and we can go ahead and keyframe those. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in here a little bit. Maybe rotate the camera. And then go about 15 frames maybe rotate it back and then at the end of the comp I will just rotate it a little bit more and this effects pretty cool considering you can just do it in After Effects and only takes like two minutes to do so check out my last week's video also I want some uh, suggestions on what you guys want to see for these kinds of videos because I'd like to do weekly or more frequent tutorials for you guys so let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and I'll make sure to get around to them because I really like to kind of show you guys what I do behind the scenes of my YouTube videos. Anyways, thanks for watching this. Hope you guys can incorporate some of these tips in your videos. If you do use this, let me know. I'd like to check it out because that would be sweet. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next week and thanks for watching. Peace.